Uh, this is new to me. Uh, the last time I spoke to Bernard, he was the CEO. He's now the joint CEO with you. So just give the background Indeed. to that. Um, David, we've always sort of stated um, that the intention was for Bernard to take on a more sort of operational role. Um, you know, that's where he really adds substantial value is experiences and that's what he really wants to do mm. um, he's uh, you know he's tired of the sort of day-to-day -day corporate activity that doesn't really um, involve the operations so um, over the last couple of months since I've joined as CFO um, I've been fulfilling that role in the background mostly as the sort of day-to-day uh, -day corporate activities investor relations uh, mergers and acquisitions and um, you know with the acquisition potential acquisition of Blayfour um, Bernard has been fulfilling that role a lot more in terms of integration, integrating the operations and spending real time at the operations um, in terms of op operational matters. Of course he was known for a long time as the CEO of Harmony then to Village Main Reef which is an old mining name in South Africa. Is the view that he will now rather like SAB Miller with Graham Mackay and Alan Clark spending a bit of time with the new chief executive or the operations person and then moving up? I suppose in, in good time, um, you know, time will tell in terms of him sort of moving on, but the intention has always been for Bernard to be a coach um, and a mentor mm -hmm. for the executive at Village, um, and that's exactly what is happening. Um, and given the opportunity to be close to the operations and impact there mm -hmm. um, allows him more time with the operational teams um, whilst the sort of CFO and, and joint CEO gets on with the, with the running of the day-to-day -day operations. All right, well, let's look at the numbers. The earnings per share, 7.9 cents, down from 16.57 cents. That's so about half. Cash flow down 58% to 73 million. Essentially a function of, of the gold price, which uh, averaged 419 compared to 435 for the previous Correct. comparable quarter, but also production. Indeed. Um, David, we had a... Um, as most of the um, companies in the gold sector, a difficult sort of um, first quarter um, in, the, in the new year in terms of our Q3 numbers. Um, it's traditionally quite weak as a result of Christmas and New Year and a slow startup at the operations and it was no real different to us. Having said that though, um, operations did produce very much in line, particularly Taulekwa with the forecast that we put into the market in terms of overall gold production. So yes, the, f the, the revenue is substantially down but mostly on the back of lower um, production at Biffles. Um, tile production was in line with our forecast, but lower than what we produced in Q2, which is usually a quite strong quarter in the, in the mining sector. And then realized gold price was lower by about sort of 15,000 um, quarter on quarter. Um, given the record prices achieved in the December mm. in, in a rand kilogram price. And if you compared right. it to the same quarter the previous year, a big picture, roughly? S certainly um, a stronger quarter for us than um, the Q3 of the Because that's really the, the comparable one. Year. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and I think we, one must remember that at Q3 last year, the assets were still held by Simmer and Jack Mines. We only acquired these assets in June um, of last year. So it's really the third quarter that these assets are owned by Village Main Reef. Mm. What about the costs? I mean people talk about the South African gold mining industry being cost heavy because of things like deep mining and the age of it. But you almost specialise in old workings. Uh, you, you're picking up bits and pieces in a way and sometimes you must come across things that cost more than you realise to exploit. And you've got to process a lot of material for not that much uh, grade return. So. What are the particular issues with costs at the moment? Yeah. David, we've been, um, we've been very successful in, in this particular quarter to um, stem the costs at most of our operations. So we've reduced costs at all through the operations, at both Biffles, Tau, um, as well as Cons Merge, um, which has been one of the highlights of this particular quarter. We believe that the cost reductions, particularly the ones at Tau, would be sustainable. Um, and they're on the back of particular interventions that we've installed. Like what? What did you do? We certainly looked at the sort of way that we operate the assets in terms of mine overseers, um, supervisors, um, the amount of cash that we spend um, per meter of advance, um, and the sort of effectiveness of our drilling program. So really things that are once fixed are quite sustainable if you keep on focusing on that. Also it seems to me a lot of activity going on in terms of contiguous operations. There's the Blayfour uh, transfer, the old Blayfour mine. Competition Commission Authority wanted for that, but that wouldn't seem to be a problem. You've also got Isil Wini uh, with the relationship with First Uranium Corp, FIU, and there's the Mine Waste Solutions with Angle Gold Ashanti. Lots of transfers and movements. It, the company's changing. Indeed. David, we've always sort of um, had the opportunity and indicated to the market that 
we will, as soon as we are able to realize and crystallize value from our first uranium relationship, both in equity and in the convertible notes, we will do so. Now, we took the first steps by disposing of 20% of our equity to Anglo Gold um, in the previous quarter. Um, and obviously, the news has been carrying the story around Anglo Gold and Gold One making an offer for Iselweeny and Mine Waste Solutions in particular. Um, now, to the extent that shareholders vote this through, um, that provides an underpin of around 40 cents per share for Village Main Reef. And as soon as that cash is received, um, you know, we've always indicated to the market that the bulk of that will be returned to our shareholders in way of a special dividend. Mm. Another thing with old mines is acid uh, mine water, and uh, it's a legacy issue, and sometimes whoever's operating it now, it's not their fault, but they've got to deal with it. Do you have those issues? Indeed. Um, we, we don't particularly have uh, the, the issues as we are sort of continuously pumping at all of our operations. Um, at uh, Biffles, we formed the Margaret Water Company um, in association with Anglo Gold, Harmony at that stage and ourselves, and, and we pump clear water. Of course, um, one hears these adverts uh, about mine water being processed to become drinkable. Well, our mine water, unfortunately, is not processed to that sort of um, level, but it is clean water that we actually discharge through the Margaret Water Company into the Vol River. Um, and the water is so clean that it actually improves the quality of the, the, river, the water that goes into the Vol River. What about the gold price? There's been talk recently of hedging, uh, possibly time for the gold price to go down, although given what's happening in the world economy, it doesn't look like it. What's your policy on that? David, we, we um, by choice, are completely unhedged in relation to our exposure to both the dollar gold price and to the RAND um, currency side, and we will certainly remain unhedged as a, as a gold producer. Right, we can stop here. That's Maria Simon, now the joint CEO with Bernard Swanepoel of, of uh, Village Main Reef.